Hello, this is NixComputerFix.com and here's a video on how to enable, create, and perform a system restore point in Windows 10. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here by moving our mouse cursor down to the search the web and Windows command line here and type the word recovery and that will bring up a list. Go ahead and scroll up and click on recovery control panel and that will open up the recovery window. Once it's open, we want to go ahead and enable restore within Windows 10 by clicking on the third option here, configure system restore. Or we could even go ahead and click on the second option, open system restore. And that gives us this window here which basically tells us that uh, system protection is uh, turned off presently. And so we want to enable it by going ahead from this window and we can click on configure system protection. And that opens up the system properties window. That shows us that the system restore is presently turned off. And we want to go ahead and enable it or turn it on by clicking on configure. And once we have this window open, up top we have two options. Presently it's disabled and we want to go ahead and click on turn on system protection and that will enable restore at this point and then we can go down below here and allocate as much disk space as we like um, to the system restore. Now I'm going to do about 11 percent because I have plenty of disk space but it's up to you how much you want to allocate for this and you can always come back and readjust it if you have uh, applied too much or or not enough. So go ahead and click on apply and then click on OK. And now we're all set and ready to create a system restore for our, our hard drive C for Windows 10. So let's go ahead and click on create and we get a window that's prompting us for the name of the restore point that we want to create and you can uh, make one up that works for you I'm gonna just call mine restore point and today's date 10 19 2015 and once you're done click on create and um, now the creating of the system restore point can take a few minutes to you know, uh, even a couple of hours depending on the speed and performance of your laptop. Now through the magic of video editing, I've speeded this up considerably. So not to waste your time watching the progress bar. Okay, once it's completed, you get this message. The restore point was created successfully. And then you can click on close. Now keep in mind we can also do a system restore from this window as well. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking on system restore. And that opens up this window where we can restore system files and settings. And we do that by going down here and clicking on next. And select a restore point if you have multiple images that you've done in the past you can choose one to restore your computer to the state it was in before the selected event or whatever happened to your computer. Once you have it selected, then go ahead and click on Next. And once you are satisfied with what it's about to do, it's asking you to confirm your restore point and you click on Finish. And once started, System Restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? It gives you one last chance to bail out. And if you choose to say yes, then the restore starts. And you want to make sure you do not disturb your computer at this point. Now your Windows 10 system will restart. And then you'll get this message. System Restore is initializing. Then system restore is removing temporary files and then you get system restore is completed and then it restarts Windows 10 again and then boots right into the Windows 10 desktop and as a final message you'll get this one here within Windows 10 
that says system restore completed successfully and that your documents have not been affected which is cool all right that's how you go about doing um, a Windows 10 system restore that's the end of this tutorial subscribe and like my video